Hi, my name is Gabriel Villela, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and click the bell icon to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to be covering in-database tools in Altrix. Let's get started. So what are in-database tools? So you'll see here an image, I grabbed a screenshot of Altrix and you'll see the in-database category with a bunch of tools there. And these tools, they kind of look similar with the others that we have uh, on the other tabs, right? So these tools, they will process the data on the database server machine. So imagine that you have a Microsoft SQL Server, for example, you're going to be able to process all the data within that server machine rather than downloading the data into your local machine and processing locally. So that will enable blending and analysis against large data sets without moving the data out of the database, right? So you can imagine that that will improve the performance of the overall traditional analysis method. And one thing that's really important, you don't need to know SQL code in order to process that data against the database. Alteryx will build out the code for you. One thing that you should keep in mind here is that you see the icon here and you see the anchor, input and output anchors for the in database tools. They are slightly different just to show you that you are working with the in database tools and that you cannot connect here any regular Altrix tool with that. Okay, so if you're using in database tools, you should keep using in database tools. And I'm gonna show later on how to merge that with the regular Altrix. So, how in database tools work? You'll see here that the first tool that I have here is the connect in DB. So you're always going to start with connecting with your database, right? And you also see here that I have in database tools, you see the blue anchors. And I also have here some other regular tools from Altrix. So we're blending data here from my local machine with data that I have within the database. And how can we do that? We can use here the data stream in tool to stream in data that I have locally. So um, on this example here, I have some input data from a Excel spreadsheet, for example. I'm streaming in this data into my database, creating a temporary table, and then using this temporary table to join in the data with my other table that I have on the database. This will speed up the process. Imagine that you have a large data set here on your uh, database and then you just need to join with a simple table here in excel spreadsheet if you would download this all to your computer it will take a huge amount of time to download and then to process the join if you just stream in this data into your database and then do the join perform the join there rather than on your local machine, it will improve the process so much. Here I have also a formula, so I'm doing a some calculation, creating some new fields here. And you see down here that I have the data stream out. So I'm able to get data out from the NDB tools and use some local uh, local tools here, for example, the transpose and the local browser that are from the regular authors, right? You'll see the green anchors here. So on this example here, I am processing data on the database and then I'm just getting out the result here, the result from this join and this formula. And just the download here is much faster than having to download and join locally, right? What are these supported databases? So here I have a list of all the supported databases. And if you want to learn more, you can just refer to the documentation. I have the link down here. 
Another great thing here is that you have some predictive in database support. So you'll see some tools here. These tools here from the predictive category, they are supported for in database processing on these three databases here, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle and Teradata. That wraps up today's video on in database tools in Altrix. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.